Hi there, my name is Samantha Mirabal. I'm going to go through and quick do a quick video to show you how to do a knockdown stitch in Design Shop. So I'm just going to put some text on the screen. So let's start with that. The kerning is goofy, so I'm going to go fix that first. Make it look a little cleaner. Okay, good enough. All right, so let's center the design. Let's say I want this to be two inch font. There, good enough. All right, so now that I have some text, now we have to create our knockdown. So for the knockdown, I'm going to use the fill tool. And here, what I want to do is trace along. So if I want my knockdown to kind of float around here, I'm going to trace as close to my element around where I want it to offset to. So I'm just going to do a fill stitch and I'm not going to pay perfect attention to matching exactly because it's going to offset anyway and it's just a knockdown. So um, from about here, let's see, oops, that should have been a left click. I'll curve it over so it's smooth and then I think I'm going to go straight across here. There's no point to having it completely wrap around. Now we'll go back to curving it. Okay, so yeah, close enough. Okay, so when I get to the bottom here, I'm probably going to do just a straight line across. Hold my alternate key down to keep it nice and straight and maybe to here and then I'll kind of curve into the letter to keep it not so abrupt looking. And then here, I'll probably go here and up again just to keep it smooth. Good enough. Enter to close the shape. I don't have any holes so I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to give it a start point. doesn't really matter because I'm going to change it all anyway. Start, stop, and a stitch direction. All right, so now I have a fill, and I can move that underneath just so you can see where it is right now. Yeah, let's make it another color. Okay, so now we're going to do an offset object, offset outline. And let's do 25, point, 25 points and OK. So there's my offset. So no one wants a, f or I don't want a full fill anyway underneath my shape. So I'm going to double click on my fill and change it to a density. Uh, let's start with 15. I'm going to get rid of the, I'm going to make the underlay a fill underlay with a zero border margin and a density of the same 15. That's too dense. Let's do 25. Yeah. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do 25 as well. So I just want those numbers to s match. Now these pointy edges, I don't like that look. So I'm going to use the Trapunto and a trace border and apply and I have a knockdown. So you know if you want to make it a little smoother around the corners instead of this um, blunt edge you can come through and adjust that. So to do there I'll come over here I'll add a point and kind of curve it around just so it's not quite as flat and abrupt and I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to add a right click, and this time I think I'm just going to drag these points down a little bit. Clean up that curve. Okay. There. Oops. Center up the design, and now I have a knockdown. All right, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'll load this up to YouTube. I have some other videos you're welcome to look at. Thanks.